Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to take you through this continuation of our part 1 staircase modeling. Let's continue from where we left. I'll go to navigate under view and uh, rotate this using a mouse. Now we want to populate these flights to different heights here probably to the utmost height of these columns. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to do a selection of all of everything we want to, to populate. Now, I'll pick this, press control and pick that, zoom out, I'll pick that, that, and probably that and that one. And press control again and pick that. Press control and pick that. Press control, pick that, and this. We'll pick only things that are necessary for our copy command. Let me turn this round again and pick everything that we require prior to invoking the copy command. Then I'll pick that again, that, this, and that. I'll zoom out and in, that, that, that. I'll press control and continue selecting. I'll pick, I'll pick that. I'll come to navigate, turn this round. Press control, that's already selected. I'll pick that, that, that. This one, that one, and that one. Don't forget this. Come to navigate, turn this round, click on that spot and turn. We forgot to select that. Don't leave every, anything or anything behind prior to invoking the copy command. That side is complete. Let's turn to the next flight. Right click and interrupt that and continue picking everything here. I'll pick that, not forgetting that. I'll press control and continue selecting. I'll pick that, pick that one. And finally this. Then turn round and check what you might have left out. Nothing, absolutely. Next, we are going to beams. We'll pick that, 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 this, and that, and that. Now, we want to populate this to the full height of the stair columns, these four columns. Now, to, to populate that, we want a measurement from that end to this end, from this end to this end. That is 37. I mean 37, 3753.112. Now we'll just go. If you take a measurement using uh, using this measure from here to here, you'll check that and get to 37.53.12. Then we'll go. We'll go straight away to, uh, to uh, uh, copy special. We'll come to linear. In copy linear, we'll use X Y Z 
the z axis we want to populate this upward then we'll feed that 37 53.2 we want close to that quantity of flights now we add this to 10 we want 10 of these we'll go ahead and click copy and wait for the result okay there we are now we'll go ahead and click ok i will click expand and click ok it has gone beyond the full height now once such a thing happens just turn this round like this then highlight everything you don't want like that right click and delete we'll do away with that you can leave that because we can leave this Now this is the, of our full height of staircase right click right click and redraw come to navigate and turn this round check around take a walk around the stairs Perfect. Perfect. Turn around like this and check. The some columns have been left out, but I've just shown you. I've just showed you the how to do this, the perfect way. Now from there, we are going to place our base plates. Base plates. We'll pick that. Come here, click on the column and place it there. Let's click on the column and snap at the bottom of the column there. Snap at the bottom there. Do the same thing here. Click there and snap it there right click then we'll do away with that now this is our staircase with gratings okay thanks a lot for watching this video and especially this channel don't forget to subscribe and keep on watching this channel for more videos to come. Bye bye. I'm a presenter, Morris Dimba, and let's meet on the next presentation. Don't ever forget to save your work.